Now, with inflation officially at 8.6% and climbing, you might be looking for help to achieve financial safety. Call them and Noble Gold's experts will share their knowledge of gold IRAs. And if you're quick, they're giving away an incredible 1 tenth ounce American Eagle Gold Proof Coin with every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. Hey, hey, Inspired Tribe, my fellow freedom lovers. How's it going? It's John Nolan here. Thank you so much for joining us again today. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing and sharing this with your friends. We are now hourly, daily exposed to extreme developments in the whole world. The things that are coming out now in the news, in the mainstream, in terms of what is happening are absolutely mind boggling to the unaware, to the unawakened the uninitiated. But we're going to deconstruct this a little bit today and tell you what to look out for, what we encourage you to look out for, and what we're actually observing. And I want to start with something that's just come out absolutely mind-boggling, but now we're hearing from the mainstream scientists that humanity should really look into cannibalism because apparently we can stop climate change by eating each other. It's a perfect, wonderful solution and that's a solution to tackling climate change is to eat human flesh from dead bodies. Yes, Mr. Scientist, that's how that would work. A Swedish scientist has claimed. Professor Magnus Soderlund, apparently he's got an appetite for very exotic things, said of the Stockholm School of Economics, says, believes practicing cannibalism might save the planet if society were to awaken to the idea. Well, Mr. Economic Specialist, perhaps you should stick to your guns here. I don't think... This is a very good idea, but speaking on Swedish television, he suggested dead bodies would be more sustainable than the meat and dairy industry or even eating insects if food sources become scarce in the future. Basically, what was he saying? Kill your neighbor and go eat him if you run out of food? Look at, I mean, can you even imagine what kind of morons and complete degenerates there are now on TV? It's absolutely mind-boggling. He also claimed that conversation about taboos of cannibalism can change over time and that people can be tricked into making the right decisions, the Epoch Times reports. You know what? This is where this goes. I mean that somebody like this even gets time on TV, on national television, needs to tell you something. This is planned. This is orchestrated. This is to absolutely demoralize and shock the population in their trauma-based programming to constantly instill fear, to constantly instill worry, to constantly instill trauma. We got to look at these things a little differently and I encourage you to stick around because we have a few more news to cover and then we're going into how we really need to look at this because this is this is a game changer once you realize this. So we also have something very important that's happening is the heat wave all around the northern hemisphere we currently have an extreme heat wave north america europe it's absolutely crazy and fires and just insane temperatures everywhere and of course uh climate change you know it, it's all all about that but who's greatly benefiting from this look into the bill gates of the world look into the people that are wanting to create a mass food shortage in these people and look into what they're buying up and how they're acting and how it benefits them. This is an absolutely orchestrated event and what I'm saying here is, yes, I absolutely believe this is weather control at the highest level and people have been talking about HARP with regards to weather control for a very long time but it's been recently brought to my attention that actually we should really look into the Doppler radars as the source of weather manipulation, weather control, or actually weather production. People that have studied this field in depth, and I'm just quoting them here, are saying that for much longer than we thought, weather hasn't just been manipulated, it's been completely fabricated and created. So not just inserting things into a weather pattern, but actually creating whole weather patterns according to what they need. Now, I, I, you know, I wouldn't put it past them at all whatsoever. So I just encourage you to look into that. I do believe that our inner technology has far greater powers. If we came to realize that, then we could actually reharmonize the weather, no matter what the technology, but that's just my view. 
And when we go into who is doing this, and that's how we're slowly getting to how we need to look at this, we're also looking at some extreme psychosociopaths, some entities that I have come to the conclusion, and I am firmly believe they don't have a human spirit. These evil psychopaths, absolute uh, maniacs, do not have a human spirit. They don't have a soul. So I believe the way we look at healing, the way we look at forgiveness and love amongst each other, the way we look at uh, beings with consciousness, that we are so many on this earth and how we heal with each other and how we forgive each other is different than how we need to treat these evil psychopaths. I do believe that. I'm not suggesting any rash action. I'm just saying that a justice system has been created over millennia by humanity. Every group has it. Every society, every clan, every country has a justice system, albeit corrupted in most places now, but still it's in place and it can be cleaned up. And then I believe there needs to be due process and a quick and uh, final solution when it comes to this. That's just, you know, we, we just need to make sure that our beautiful earth can once again shine and it won't, it won't happen until we remove all the evil. So that all being said, what are we witnessing here? Because the craziness, I just pull out a few things that are really crazy like cannibalism and weather control, but we're seeing presidents and governments stepping down on the daily now. Um, we're also seeing scandals over scandals. We're seeing the more blatant, so the, the Biden apocalypse. So they're basically nuking Biden out of supposed office of the residency, right? And they're doing it by showing more erratic behavior, by uh, showing more fakeness in all of this. And the effect that it should have on you is absolute confusion, panic and fear because there's nothing you can count on anymore. And actually, in many ways, this is a good thing. We told our children, we've been telling them for about a year and a half now that they need to prepare for madness in the world. More and more people are going crazy and mad. And there's a specific reason for that. Up until the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, uh, the powers that were and want to be uh, had an order of controlled chaos, right? We would constantly see events, but it was an orderly kind of chaos that kind of the pendulum would always swing back into a more or less orderly way. Not normal, not healthy, but it was still something people could count on, the processes of daily lives, the, con the way countries conducted themselves, the way government, all of that was fairly, fairly normal. Not good, but normal. Since 2020, we have seen an acceleration of the apparently uncontrolled chaos, where all the things are completely falling out of balance. S some things seem uncontrollably, some, some things a little slower, but the truth is it's all by control and it's all by design. So over, let's say over your lived memory, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, doesn't matter, whatever your lifespan is, you've had a picture presented to you about the world about governments, about uh, political leaders, religious leaders, about stars, about the good guys and the bad guys. And the truth is, the vast majority of the good guys are actually really, really bad guys, right? And a lot of the bad guys are actually quite good guys. Most of it has been completely inverted. But if you knew, if you knew what's happening behind the scenes and how some of these pretend good leaders in entertainment, religion, and politics, what they really do, and how uncomprehensibly evil they are, I mean, you would just, it would just shock you to the core. But what they're doing now is they're exposing this as if it is by accident, and these people are now being exposed. No, they were put there in place. They were put in place. So the people you looked up to for 30 years or trusted for 30 years turn out to be complete fakes and frauds and evil. There's a design behind this. It is to completely demoralize you and to erode any trust you might have in the structures, which in turn is a blessing in disguise because we can finally go to taking responsibility, realizing we've been played, we've been duped, and beginning taking full inspired action in creating new structures, in infusing ourselves and our light into the current structures, in the healing process, and actually taking this place over with our true human power. This is it. We're seeing the downfall. It's orchestrated, but these evil minions that are doing this actually 
did not and cannot count on a human spirit because they don't have it. So our power begins by truly seeking truth, seeing things, things for what they are. Stop pretending to ourselves that we believe the game that's being played so we can honestly get to work. This is the name of the game right now. So I encourage you, look through the game. Don't play the, the smoke and mirrors game any longer. Be courageous enough to look at the truth and then apply your true human spirit to the situation. We, we've been talking about this for so long. I very much look forward to the next guests that are coming to the Inspire channel. We'll be having one of our heroes. Uh, she's really, really become one of our heroes, Kathy O'Brien, uh, who's coming to the Inspire channel in the next days. And she'll speak about her life, her experience, her work as someone who has seen what's happening behind the scenes and who's been exposed and abused in ways most humans absolutely cannot even imagine. And then uh, soon after that, we're welcoming back David Icke, uh, our friend David Icke to the channel, which we cannot wait for both of those conversations. And David Icke and Kathy O'Brien in a lot of ways are uh, are both heroes of ours because of the amazing, absolutely cutting edge and breakthrough work they've been doing for so many years and decades. So that's coming up. And these are all people that have seen and lived through some of the worst stuff that's unimaginable. And what the conclusion they have come to is truth will make us free. That's what they say. The more we expose, the more we put things out in the open, the more these pretend powers are weakened because they need to try to cover things up and, and excuses and lies. It's not working anymore. I'm telling you. So don't retrieve now. Don't put yourself in a shell. Be brave. Be courageous. Look at things the way they are. Apply your true power and you'll see we will prevail. We will win and we will succeed in ways you cannot even imagine right now how beautiful this will be. And it already is uh, on the inside. So that's what we're bringing out. And please, Call evil, evil when you see it. Call it by its name and make it known to the evil beings around you that they have no place. Make it known. Claim your presence. Claim your space. Claim the light and make sure it absolutely expands because evil stands no chance against this. Inspired Tribe, thank you so much for joining us again today. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate you. We love you. And we'll be back with you again very, very soon.